we're about to look at the type 1 transposons that, unlike type 2 or DNA transposons, move via an RNA intermediate. They exist in all cell types, but we'll focus on what we know about eukaryotic retrotransposons, which have been extensively studied. The yeast TY element is shown here as it would exist integrated into cellular genomic DNA. Like other transposons, active eukaryotic retrotransposons leave direct repeats of genomic DNA flanking the element after transposition. TY is an example of an LTR retrotransposon. These transposons are characterized by having long terminal repeat sequences, about 300 base pairs, flanking the genes in the element. The latter encode protein factors or enzymes required for transposition. GAG or GAG encodes group-specific antigen, a structural protein that forms a virus-like particle that will contain reverse transcribed transposon DNA. RT encodes reverse transcriptase that will make reverse transcribed copies of transcribed transposons. PRT encodes a protease that will break down the virus-like particle as the retroposon enters the nucleus. INT encodes integrase required for integration of the transposon into genomic DNA at a site of insertion. Note the POL region. This consists of overlapping reading frames, also called ORFs or ORFs, encoding the PRT, the RT, and the INT genes. See if you can recall what overlapping ORFs really mean. 